Britannica has worked very hard to streamline its look and make it a lot easier to navigate and use. So I'm going to just take you through kind of an introduction to navigating. Once you log in, you will be in what's called Britannica School. And there are three levels. There's elementary, middle, and high. And you can think of these as elementary school, middle school, and high school. But what they're really referring to more is the reading level um, within the each of these. Um, so there may be times uh, when you use the middle school or the middle reading level, there may be times you choose to use the high, and there may even be times you choose to use the elementary. So I'm going to show you just a few of the differences between the three levels. So let's just take something very basic. Um, we're just going to look up my, my fallback, which is always frog, and I'm going to search that in the elementary level. One of the most noticeable differences between elementary and the middle and high levels is the elementary, um, it looks very user friendly, it's got clouds and sky and grass, the font size is a bit bigger, um, and there's probably going to be fewer results, uh, a narrower list of choices. So it looks um, quote unquote elementary-ish. Now to return to the the um, home screen, the landing page, uh, we just click up here to uh, Britannica School again, and that brings us back to our three levels. So I'm going to search middle now. We'll put in the same search, just so you can kind of see the difference. It takes just a moment. So I have searched frog, and as you can see, the, the clouds and grass um, and the sky has changed, and it's just kind of a basic blue background. But one thing I did want to show you um, on this results page is you do have the ability to change the level. Um, now, the levels, is it's kind of like elementary, middle, and high, but not necessarily. So let's say, for example, you've done a search in the middle school, but you'd like the reading level maybe to be just a little bit easier. You can click level one, and you notice there was a slight change. Now, it doesn't look quote unquote elementary, but the reading level was uh, reduced a little bit to make it a little bit simpler. Or you can go the other way if you want to increase uh, the complexity of the text. Um, it works that way as well. So you do have the ability to change the reading levels here also. Now when I return back here to Britannica School and we go to the high section, we'll uh, choose frog again, um, it's not that noticeable a difference between the middle and the high. The background is a little bit darker. Um, you do still have the tabs where you can change the reading level, um, but the look is basically the same. So that's just kind of a little bit of an introduction to the three different levels of Britannica School. Um, in the next tutorial, we'll look a little bit more closely at the results page.